My name is Eric Corey Freed. I'm a green architect and I focus on regenerative living buildings. The concept of regenerative buildings is buildings that actually heal the damage that humans have caused, not making it worse. Most buildings use large, massive amounts of resources. They consume massive amounts of energy. They take incredible amount of operations and effort to just keep them running. And what's worse is it's making us all ill. We spend 80 to 90% of our time indoors breathing in these toxins. And we wonder why we keep getting sicker and sicker and sicker. They're related. You can't talk about cancer without talking about the built environment. You can't talk about asthma. We know today how to build buildings that generate all their own energy, buildings that process their own waste, buildings that clean their own water, and buildings that avoid all known cancer-causing chemicals. We can do that now. There's no future innovation that needs to occur to do that. What we can get to next is how do we build buildings that make you well? How do you build buildings that heal you, that make you feel better? Imagine a building that by touching the materials instead of absorbing known carcinogens, imagine if you were absorbing vitamins. Imagine materials that heal themselves. Imagine materials that grow. And by growing, I mean literally growing. Imagine if you took a picture hook out of the wall and it would start to callus and over time it would heal itself floors that would become stronger the more you walk on them, not weaker. So instead of what we have now where materials break down in a constant state, we'd have living materials that we'd infuse and they'd all be powered by sunlight and nutrients. I think really there should be no dividing line between built environment and natural environment. I think if we do our jobs correctly, the lines are blurred together that you wouldn't know where nature stops and mankind begins. That's really the metric of success. So really, let's solve the problem at its source. And that's the importance of the built environment. And that's why this XPRIZE challenge is so important.